Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob and today I shall be attempting to take this Zilmex P346 ambulance van made in Hong Kong from shabby to shiny. Uh, this one uh, kindly donated by Tony Hughes. Uh, if you please stick around to the end of the video, um, I'll have the whole unboxing of a whole heap of super fast plus other car, other cars um, and it was a real wonderful um, and you know I truly appreciate uh, especially in the current climate uh, Tony going to the effort to actually send them to me so thank you Tony and like I mentioned the uh, unboxing is at the end of this but going to this uh, little van here today I'm going to be doing a bit of a custom um, you know something a little bit funky and uh, with 2000 likes this one it could be yours So there we are, a very fast little van, of course in ambulance livery at the moment. But I do like this little van, I've already pre-drilled this one. Just uh, seeking out a screwdriver, suitable, need to pop off the base. So we take this off, see what we're playing with. And it was a, an odd construction because, of course, you've got the one rivet at the front and apparently nothing holding it on at the back. Of course, I don't want to break anything. Um, so just uh, making sure that I'm doing right. So I'm thinking, oh, do I pull out the rear bumper here? Add a little sneak peek. I think ultimately it was uh, just pushed into position. And it was literally the one rivet at the front that uh, was holding it up. But there she pops. And then, yeah, the rear bumper there attaches, goes through the little slots at the back and attaches to that uh, base. You can see the little notches or pins there. Pulling off the front bumper there. Nice little bit of detail there in the grille and the front headlights. And we'll pop off these uh, wheels. They'll be going into the parts bin. But yeah, she does, as I say, read underneath here. The Zilmex P346 ambulance van made in Hong Kong. Uh, these wheels, having picked up a bit of carpet along the years... Uh, that'll be going into my parts box today. And you know, I was actually surprised the well that it had any interior. Uh, to be honest, uh, this is very basic. It's just got a little bit of uh, uh, seat action there, but through this uh, window section, it's quite dark. And to be honest, you can't really, or at least with it all painted white, the white interior just wasn't very prominent. Actually, looking at it right now, now that I've painted it a different colour, you can see the white interior. So I think the white on white just, you know, almost camouflaged the interior. But the window section here is just held on by a little tab. I'm going to very carefully remove the flange for me to pop it off. And it is a tight fit. must admit with the tight fit to me that shows good quality with the piece but I was still not able to uh, pull it out there so it turns out even these little sirens and they're not called sirens they're beakers or I can't remember what they're supposed to be called the siren of course is the sound or the I don't know. But yeah, pushing this one through. And then hopefully this will finally loosen up the window section here. As it does.
And there we are. Not in bad condition. Needs a little bit of a light buff. But thankfully, no deep gouges or scratches today. But with the uh, casting here, it's got a good bit of weight to it. You know, I think it's got a good bit of quality to this little car. Now we do have some holes going on around here. Obviously, where it has been the ambulance, the blue has been shining through. But we're not going to need that today or want that today. I'll be filling up all these holes. But of course, you do need to work with a tidy workstation. And I'm going to be going with the pain. <laughs> Look at the state of this. Uh, I've used it once, it looks real dodgy. And I'm thinking, I wonder if this is even going to work. I thought, whilst I've got it out, I might as well just use it up. But anyway, as you can see, just with my bare hand, trying not to get this stuff on my... But look how quick that goes. I honestly didn't think this was going to do a thing. I thought it had kind of gone off now in this little butter tub over the last couple of days. But look at that. Seconds it took. Pretty potent stuff this. So yeah, just watching it live there is pretty cool. But not wanting to get any of my fingers. I'll leave it in here for a few moments. But whilst that is doing its little thing, we'll put all these uh, plastic parts here into the water for a little bit of a, a wash. And that interior there. Like I say, it's white already didn't really want to I thought about painting it black and I thought well then I'll definitely lose it uh, you know through through sight through that window so I thought I'll just leave it in the white the uh, front and rear bumpers there of course they'll be getting the Molotow chrome pen shortly I've actually just bought a, a refill I, I was thinking that I was you know I needed to, to replace them but actually it seems like you can buy an actual refill tube which hopefully will be a bit more cost effective because they're, they're certainly not cheap. So hopefully that will come shortly. And anyway, onto some uh, plastic polish and my tack line. see the power of this thing um, if you do catch on something now bear in mind this is little rechargeable tiny little battery in it but I'll tell you what it's still got some power there you are so there's one little pass I'll go over it again but I think you'll agree that it looks shiny already now for the base, our friend Tony Bellini over in America, he sent me this paint a little while ago, and this base I was gonna, I was gonna leave it uh, in the original state, but I thought I'll just give it one little, you know, one little uh, spray over just to refresh it. And there we go. Looking at it now. It honestly looks like it's uh, never been touched. It looks brand new underneath this car. But yeah, back to this uh, Molotow pen. I'll just uh, sample the rear bumper here. And I've got two sides. There's a thicker um, tip on the end there. And also a thinner one. I tend to use this thicker one. I feel like you get a bit more of a, a more even finish. But yeah, instead of replacing the whole pen, I've bought myself an actual uh, refill so I can refill my uh, pens. But yeah, my uh, camera, to be honest, it's not going to pick this up too small, really. I think it does a little bit there, but yeah, I look brand new again. So here's the casting now, having washed it out. I reckon a good 99% paint removal on that. Still doesn't give the finish 
that uh, caustic soda does. And also, uh, when you do use caustic soda and then you polish it up afterwards, it really does shine. With this paint stripper, not so much. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Very, very passable and usable. But uh, I tried to use the tape on the underside of these holes. It just wasn't working. So I thought, okay, what I'll do is I'll tape up the window section and I'll push that into position and then use that itself um, to basically you know, hold the uh, filler, the JB Weld in place as it dries. So I've done a 50-50 a mix of this JB Weld and I'll just pop it into one of these holes and then I put it underneath a red lamp to dry and it dries pretty quick underneath that and now that I've rubbed it all down as you can see all the holes plugged up and I'll be using the black primer which I'm nearly running out of would you believe in the UK I just cannot find it I have managed to find a place over in Belgium a shop that's open over there so I'm, you know, supposedly it's already been dispatched so certainly hoping that I receive it shortly because I think I've only got maybe one or two castings left in this can I certainly won't go without I've got other options but this is my favorite And then for something a little bit different today. Here's where, I guess, the kind of the fork in the road, right? This was, what do I do with this? Do I paint it white again? Maybe put like a another ambulance decal on the side? Do I go with a sporty look? Do I go with like a standard a usable look? Do I try and go with, a, you know, an 18 uh, look? But ultimately I thought, I really like the idea of like a candy colour, a little bit quirky, a little bit funky. Um, and with candy, I find that a gold base is best. But it looked a little bit too plain. So once it had dried, I've got a whole drawer full of decals. And I've got these really funky Japanese decals. And I thought, you know, I've kind of found a few different ones. And I just, you know, what, what fit? Starting to regret the dog decal for this side. You know, maybe it was like a, a dog grooming van. Um, but hey, it's done now. But yeah, we're using the uh, Green Stuff World candy paints and I'm going to go with green shoot green fade from underneath and then a purple from the top down and then it kind of try and leave a bit of the gold in the middle that was the plan only a tiny little bit of uh, candy really required in this little fade um, I've only got the green on camera the purple, for whatever reason, just didn't record. And then after painting the green from the up, purple from the down, I then added up with uh, a clear coat. Just to really lock in those decals. Yeah, there's the green. I will add another shot of green before coming with the purple from the top. But yeah just use that a little bit up but it is now later on in the day like I say these uh, interior pieces here and then you've got these chrome front and rear and yeah that base looking good so from the top the purple and green from the underside and then you can kind of see a little bit of a gold still in the middle and a lot of clear coat on this one this one is shiny 
but anyway, a reminder of what she looked like. And this is the result. So it's all now put back together. A lot of chrome around that front end. You can just about see a little bit of white in those headlights. And finally, a home for these wheels, these green light wheels that I've had for so long that it just doesn't suit any car that I've ever had. And we finally have one that to scale, they suit. And I think the kind of the, the gold in the background behind this candy really does tie in well with the gold in the wheels. Like I said, not really loving that dog decal on the side there, but hey, woof woof. It's there. Around the back there, of course, red in those rear lights and yellow in the number plate. The decal on this side, I love it. I think it looks perfect. It's perfect to scale, perfect size. I have absolutely no idea what it says. If anybody can let me know, I'll appreciate it. But remember, with 2,000 likes, this little funky van could be yours. But massive thanks to my patrons. Once again, thanks, guys. And thanks, everybody else, for watching. Um, like the video, but also stick around for now the unboxing. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another Matchbox Garage unboxing video. Uh, here we have... I've oh, just kind of cut around the top uh, but it is from our friend Tony Hughes and we do have a note let me uh, let me just fold it strategically uh, so not to show uh, Tony's address uh, Dear Rob, picked up a few super fast on eBay the other day uh, as there was a couple of Lamborghini Mars Owls um, which are one of my favourites um, uh, in with this lot and I do like restoring these yeah I agree mate, I think they're a great car I think I've restored at least two of these now uh, and one of them has got like almost 200,000 views would you believe but anyway um, needed some spare parts but there were a few that don't float my boat so to say uh, but I thought you or your children might like some spare bit of for the spares bin or restorations uh, funny enough you talk about like the spares bin um, obviously I've been working from home uh, for some time now I still work full time uh, but I'm able to work from home and of course my children are in and around the house and you know I mentioned the spares bin quite a lot and to be honest there's a lot of uh, parts and and uh, anyway my youngest son has had great fun the last couple of days actually just going through the I don't know hundreds of broken down parts and trying to build up his own cars it's um he's absolutely loved it so anyway um or restorations uh, do what you want with them but you are keeping me and many others entertained during this lockdown and i thought i would send you something to show my appreciation thank you very much uh, as i learned so much from you and your fellow youtubers about this hobby and of course making mistakes along the way hey i still make mistakes all the time um, i try to show them because you know i feel like um with mistakes you know you learn from mistakes and um you know if you do <laughs> Of course, if you're doing the same mistake over and over and over and you're not learning from it, then, I don't know, perhaps you're a fool. Um, you know, I'm, I could be uh, uh, guilty of that probably uh, on many occasions. But, you know, I, I feel that with mistakes, you can kind of find perhaps a, a better way to do it, uh, an easier way to do it. And, um, you know, the more you do it, the, the better you get. And that's ultimately what I'm doing. But, yeah, you know, I'm trying to keep up with the schedule of one every couple of days and we'll see how it goes i must admit you know i don't have any spare time or free time at the moment i work during the day um you know i see the wife and kids and have a bit of dinner for you know and kind of relax for for, for an hour or two but then i'm back up kind of in the uh, matchbox garage area having a bit of fun that's my downtime you know just taking apart these little cars and restoring them for myself but you know uh, showing you along the way but let's have a look see what we got in the box wow so uh look at this sea of bright colors and the first thing that catches my eye is this uh amx javelin that is an unusual color I'm sure I've got a couple of these and you know what I've never restored one or customized one um, but the ones I've got a different color and that's in you know relatively good condition um, 
but yeah that uh, deserves some cool American style wheels on there a little bit of a, a restoration oh look at this that we got I've never restored one of these before this is a mod rod number one and there's three of those and it looks like all oh, right okay so you've got like a cat on the front but that there looks like a jaguar i guess but that looks more like a perhaps a lion um so different cat stickers but otherwise they're all the same and for sure one of these at least needs to be kind of customized or restored this is a Cosmobile and I've got I'm looking around um, I do have um, I think they've done these in green as well I'm sure I've got one of these in fabulous condition somewhere um, and, I, and I have watched um, I think Danny has done a restoration on one of these or a custom restoration on one of these and who else recently I think Nick um, Nick's Toy Garage I think he done one of these recently as well so that I need to consider oh well this is the uh, Porsche 910 and I've done a couple of these I think I've done a fade with one and I've done a gold one but perhaps for the next time I do one I'll just do a straight up restoration I need to try and find that decal though and similar so we've got the uh, Ford Group 6 it's a shame we've got a bit of damage on the windscreen there but I've, I'm sure I've got a couple of these although I've, I don't think I've ever seen one with a decal on the front there number 45 I apologize uh, for my hands I normally try and take good care of them but I burnt my uh, finger there um, on an exhaust on a little 50cc motorbike for my son that I'm uh, trying to restore uh, which is away from YouTube but uh, and then I just try to take out the uh, the black bags tonight and I threw out some paint and I just managed to get it everywhere but anyway uh, we've got another one of these Fords a green one this time or darker green quite nice to see that that is actually a clear windscreen maybe a bit of damage to it but I think that's salvageable oh look at this though so we got two of the Vauxhall Guildsman and of course I just recently um, customised one of these and I mentioned that you know I'd have a few of these but all the windscreens are broken but look what we got here um, this one kind of gouged and scuffed similar to the one I had this one unfortunately is it is broken but it's almost usable um, but yeah the red with with the purple one or pink there I custom restored mine in purple if you remember and we've got another layer here wow okay oh wow look at this this is a new Hot Wheels I think I've got this in the pack but that is beautiful what is that a Volkswagen SP2 that must be one of the most beautiful cars look at that design gorgeous part of me would like to I don't mind the colour and I don't mind the stripes but part of me would like to kind of custom this into almost putting it back to uh, uh, original or, or you know a basic model put in some details yeah maybe oh look at this we've got a, a Z Zilmax lovely uh, paramedic ambulance van made in Hong Kong that is very cool got some nice weight to that one I love that little thing that is really cool we've got one of these whoosh and push I've never should have an engine on the back there 
uh, but I think they're, they've been used in quite a few different cars um, and I never really considered these before but with a I don't know maybe a, a, a kind of candy or a, uh, a color flip something like this might be a bit of fun better set of wheels on it so that might be coming up in the future uh, this one I see in the same this is a, a Hellraiser look at that that's a funky looking thing eh? but again never really considered these before but having done so many different cars now you know these are starting to kind of hit my interest and I wonder I don't think out of the couple of thousand die cast cars that I have I don't think I have one of these so that I need to consider for sure that is pretty cool in an odd kind of way but it needs another set of wheels and I'm not too sure whether I've got anything suitable at the moment but that I'm really interested in we got one of these which is the Fandango's Arola Matics and yep and I painted one of these recently in yellow, changed out the wheels. Um, I've really loved how that turned out. So again, you know, the same kind of um, vibe really, these, these what they called fantasy cars, never really been my thing, but I don't know, after doing this one, I'm starting to, uh, to warm up to them, to be fair. Oh, look at this one, this uh, takes me back. This is the Wildcat Dragster. And if you have been a long-term subscriber, and I really mean a long-term subscriber, one of my f probably first, maybe f top five or first five or certainly first 10 videos, bearing in mind I'm on around 250 videos, but it, within my first 10, I think it was, I customized or restored one of these. Looking back at it now, it's pretty awful, but maybe a uh, another one to redeem myself with my um, experience gained over the last 250 videos perhaps and last but certainly not least let me just have a little tidy up I shall be keeping Tony's letter as I do with all my letters I need another um, uh, cork board um, I've kind of run out of room um, here we have which is a real shame I just nearly got half excited I've got a couple of these this is the Rolls Royce Silver Shadow so a different variation there and normally they are missing the boot which two of these are but we have it on this one which is great and they're normally missing the windshield there there and I see this one got excited but unfortunately it is broken so that's a real shame but just looking around I'm sure I don't have one No, I'm just trying to see if I've got one where this is intact, but I don't think I have. Um, but, you know, these along with the one or two that I already have will certainly go uh, for spares one day, especially this little, uh, this little trunk here, as they're usually missing. But anyway, uh, Tony, thank you very much, sir. Um, there's so, so many uh, uh, potentials here you know definitely we've got to do let me just move it in definitely I've got to do one of these I definitely want to do one of these um, now I've done a couple I've done a couple of these already but you know in the future they'll be done again same with this one the, the, I've only just done it but I will do another one in the future and this window section here makes all the difference um, you know, this 
the, the Zill mix, uh, part of me just wants to kind of deactivate, if that's a word. It, of course, it's a word, but deactivate the kind of uh, ambulance part of it put it to like a normal van, put some kind of decals on the side. I've even got a set of wheels for it uh, that I can think of already, um, which I've been really struggling. Let's have a look, quick look. Yeah, I've been really struggling trying to find a home for this uh, particular set of wheels. And it's a green light wheel. It's a lovely little wheel. I think we may have finally found a home for them. I think they are the perfect size and scale. So, hmm, of course, these other ones. You know, having done one of these recently, but I'll certainly do another one in future. This I need to do. This one I want to. I want to investigate this one a bit further, mainly because I don't have it, um, and I've not seen this one. I don't think before. So I want to put a little bit of. Um, and bearing in mind, this uh, window section here is in good condition. Um, yeah, you know the Wildcat definitely needs to be done. Um, the difference is. I think I'll just go like a full custom with it. Um, although this one, if I remember rightly, is flat. Uh, like a, there's no doors or anything. Perhaps I can try and score some doors in it or just replace and put a nice uh, decal on the side. Uh, and of course these Rolls Royces. Just need to find one with that uh, windscreen. I think I might do something with this. This is a bit odd, a bit different, but those wheels where I've been trying to find a home for some time, I think they might have finally found a home. I'm going to take away the ambulance. I'm going to do some kind of custom with it, something on the side. Um, and I'm going to do that now. And this unboxing will be at the end of that video. Um, I hope you enjoyed what I've done with this and uh, I hope you stuck around to watch the rest of this unboxing it's been a fantastic unboxing Tony thank you very much sir um, I know that you watch my videos and I appreciate that you watch my videos and I appreciate every time you make a comment um, and you've supplied me with so many uh, videos here for the upcoming future Thanks, mate. And uh, thanks for everybody else. We'll uh, get through this uh, dodgy time together. And uh, yeah, keep safe, keep in, and I'll see you all soon.